Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Zemo, the dad in DPS, and I do apologize. I've been unwell recently, so I haven't been able to make a video on this till now. But it's about the legendary crafting system and the changes that have came to the PTS that are pretty much massive. Now, what we have on the PTS is when it comes to scrapping weapons, what you're now getting is legendary scrip instead of legendary particles. They have been removed from the PTS. So free star weapons or free star armor or free star power armor all give four legendary scrip. Two stars give uh, two scrip and one stars give one scrip. And that is universal for all items that I've seen so far, everything I've managed to scrap. And as you can see, we can just continually scrap a bunch of stuff and get these little stars. Now, another change that they've done and I've been very lucky in getting this, this plan, is when it comes to crafting legendary modules, instead of just getting them, it has changed over from legendary particles, which was 100 legendary particles, to 15 legendary modules, which is quite expensive, but we'll get into that in a little second. So legendary modules, you need 15 to craft a one star item. Um, two star, three star are, are all with the same cost, but you, you can craft them for 15 modules. On top of that, when it comes to crafting and putting stuff on gear, it is exactly the same. Like when it comes to if I want to put a, a one star effect on here, we've got the two star one or the quad one here. You can see it costs 10. If I drop that on, the cost to put the next star on is 15 and so on and so forth and keeps going up until, you know, it becomes an unsustainable reason for doing it. Um, but the general gist is that it is changed in the sense that modules have become more valuable as has scrip because obviously you're constantly scripping stuff and then that allows you to buy modules and you know it, it's actually quite a good thing i i'm really happy about it but they have added another major change and that is to events and we'll go into that in a little sec so i've came to the event tunnel of love because it's an easy event to do and i can just spam emotes at the end of this to try and get it finished and we're going to see something very interesting and we'll go into that in a little second once the event completes but the whole point is that doing events and doing random events is going to be a lot more valuable in this new patch in the, the new crafting rework in the current version obviously that could change it's changed a lot in the time but as you can see it did say on there but let's go and take a look on the new items that we got because that's a pain in the butt. Let's see, new items, scroll right up to the top. Legendary modules. Events give legendary modules. Now, the current status quo is that what happens at the end of the events you get, um, on most events, a random assortment of legendary cores. It's usually like between one and four, or it depends on the events. But some events like Errol, like Encrypted, give eight legendary cores. These legendary cores have been replaced by modules. Therefore, in theory, and I've not tested it, and if anybody else wants to confirm that that's been playing the PTS, certain events will give eight legendary modules now on the PTS. This is a massive thing. It means that we don't need to use our modules or our script on necessarily these items, and we can save it for other things. It really just depends on how you want to do it, how you farm, and how you do things in the game. But in a lot of senses, I don't think I'll probably be using legendary script to farm modules because I have a, a far more efficient way of farming them in the form of events and the form of from uh, God, what are they called? Expeditions. Like, it doesn't seem like it's worth it to buy them from the purveyor anymore because every day I can only buy five in theory, but at the same time, I can get five from them from events really quickly but we'll see i'm gonna go check the purveyor and see what the costs are over there first right mergs let's see what you've got so that's definitely not right that's definitely not right. that's definitely not right so let's go out on a limb and see that when it comes to legendary modules what it's meant to be is meant to be the hundred that it was when they changed uh, the crafting system on the pts let's just assume that that would basically mean that every hundred weapons that you would get one legendary module and you would get five legendary modules from your daily script on top of that 
if they reverted it back to the original amount. I mean, 10 legendary modules per, like, uh, day. And 5, well, uh, 50 uh, items m maximum in order to get a legendary module. Whereas you could get the same amount of legendary modules from the uh, expeditions every 20 minutes? Ish. Like, literally every 20 minutes. Um, and I think Expeditions is just far more worth it. On top of that, if you launch encrypted, jump server, launch encrypted, jump server, launch encrypted, jump server, launch encrypted, jump server, do that all day, you're going to end up with a crap ton of modules as well. Um, there's also launching nukes on Errol, the Queen, um, the robots. Each one of these different things gives you anywhere between five to eight legendary modules. Um, it's just far, far, far more worth going into things than doing it and what i intend to do with my script going forward if this patch goes through as it is intended is this oh nocturnal fat man oh gorbon's golf club and specifically with armor oh look look at all these effects that i'm getting look at all these effects that i'm getting that i could then get on my gear and scrap and make and do stuff with. Scripps value has, in my opinion, changed to the randomness factor. Like, look at all these random, goofy, crappy weapons I'm getting. Look at this random, like, I, I wouldn't do it with power armor, let's be honest. Power armor's too expensive for that. But for armor, you're at least getting the effects because junk armor and junk items aren't just junk armor and junk items anymore. They are literally valuable because you have the chance of learning these plans. And as I said, getting modules is no longer that difficult because you can get them from events. And in theory, certain events are going to give you an absolutely ton of the modules, which means if you do two arrows, you can um, craft a legendary module. If you do an arrow and a couple of expeditions, you're able to mod one of your weapons. And I do a lot of these events. Let's let's be clear here. I do a lot of different events and things like that. Um, and this is just going to allow me to farm very specific random effects. And then I can go and craft and scrap stuff. If I get something good, I can keep it. But if I don't, then I just have the impunity to just go in here. Oh, that's not wanting to do that there. Um, and just scrap these things. And granted, yeah, I spent 100 on an item. I spent 60 on an item. I'm not getting my uh, my modules back. Uh, not my modules, my script back. But what I am getting is potentially a, something that's worth 15 modules if I get an item from it. And potentially learning a plan that I wanted to get. See, we just crafted item unlocked. I now can uh, learn anti-armor. Like, you're seeing the kind of, the change in the way that things work. And it kind of makes me laugh because I've been doing Script My Pants for so long. And now, to an extent, Script My Pants has a definitive value to me. It will allow me to get things out of it. Outside of just, will I get a good item? Will I get good legendary effects that I can then put into the scrapper and try and learn? And this is something that I want to do in the game i want to learn every single one of those effects and it's going to take a while it's going to take time it's going to take effort and it's going to take a lot of legendary items and with the way that i play the game i am constantly farming legendaries constantly constantly farming legendaries we'll just scrap these now because and because i'm constantly scrapping legendaries i am opening up a lot of opportunity to get these items and this is just from what i had in my inventory and from whatnot if i go to eviction notice and i sometimes get eviction notice three four times in a row i will have more legendaries in my inventory from that than doing this and imagine if i was doing that all day imagine i was doing that with multiple characters 
imagine if I was doing it in so many different varieties of ways and you're gonna see like I'm, I've unlocked two crafting recipes from this and that's just what was in my inventory and then we'll see what modules we got because I didn't actually pay attention to that so we'll see if we got any modules from this we've got a steadfast module probably easier to go to new to do it we only got one module from that that is so dumb um but you're, you're seeing like this is the kind of thing this is the kind of thing that we're going to be doing in the future and this is what we need to do in order to get our legendaries it's it's a case of i don't think buying them from mergs is going to be like i'm, I'm going to do that because there's a hundred of them or is it not letting me buy them at all that's weird but it, it seems bugged it seems bugged at the moment yeah um i don't know what's going on with that but yeah you're, you're seeing this is the future of fallout 76 and scrap is so much more valuable than it ever was in my opinion and i'm happy with that i'm very happy with that so let's round up the video now when it comes to the legendary module thing and them dropping from events i called that in some of my previous videos covering the new crafting system i said since they'd bumped the price up to them to such a, an extent they would have to find a way to entice people to go to events without legendary cores they've done that modules will take people to events 100 percent people will be farming events more than they ever have because legendary cores were crap <laughs> legendary modules are great and a lot of older players never had a problem getting rid of uh, well you know having legendary cores modules we've always had an, uh, an issue keeping them now when it comes to the scrapping system I think it's a great thing that they've taken out the middleman of the legendary particles and left us with scrip. I think getting scrip from those items makes a lot of sense because when I look at a four star, a three star weapon, for example, I think 40 scrip, three star power armor, 45 scrip, three star armor piece, 24 scrip. And I kind of balance my, my gameplay around those kind of things. Now that it comes to it that I'm still getting my scrap even if I scrap these items. It makes a lot of sense and it means that I will, you know, be chucking stuff into the scrapper quite happily because I often get to my max of 500 on multiple characters every single day. And because of that, I am constantly running through a lot of scrap and a lot of things. On top of that, scrap loses a sense of purpose in this patch. Now, I don't mean that in a sense it doesn't have a purpose. I feel like scrip isn't necessary to farm modules anymore. I would argue that legendary scrip is no longer like a module only thing. I would make the argument that you would be using your legendary scrip to get obviously vault steel because it's the only way you can get it, but for more legendary effects. Because the reality is my scrip my pants series has a new bonus to it that if i find items that have legendary effects that i need or want i can scrap them to get them and yet while i'm paying a hundred scrap to do it i would still argue that it's better than spending that 100 scrap on a module which i could get in five seconds from a freaking event or from a um the expedition i think if you're wanting modules expeditions and events are going to be your go-to thing i don't think spending scrip on them is necessarily the best idea anymore because scrip is going to be a lot more abundant than it ever was especially if you're constantly scrapping and putting stuff in the machines so i think scrip is gonna get a new life for a lot of people and i'm going to continue my scrap my pants videos because i want to use that in order to fuel my legendary effect bench but that's just me. You know, everybody's going to be different with us. Everybody's going to have different thoughts. And with that, I want you guys to leave comments down below about what you think about this new system, what you think about these new things that are going on. Um, and don't forget to like, subscribe, all that usual stuff. And we'll catch you all next time in the Wasteland. You hear him barking, you feel you're close to the end. Running through the night, shadows lurking round the bend. Heart pounding fast, adrenaline to flow can you survive the chase only time will let you know eyes lock in the tension fills the air knowing that he's near feeling his fiery stare in the darkness you must find a way to hide
lucky.